Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look again on the gold market i would like to start the report from the hourly chart because actually yesterday we talked about the entry a process the tactics uh based on the chart napoli uh, way to take the position on a trend developing how you could step in when the major action already has started and we talked about the minesweeper B tactics when you are entering not at the first retracement. This was the first bounce up and first retracement. It suggests the minesweeper A. But if you have missed somehow or this pullback has happened in the night, you have just not considered it. You would like still to take the position. You could use the next when is this minesweeper B when the upper action stands in the second leg already. And you're taking position on the confluence support 1843. So you could see the entry process has, has been done really very accurately. So you can see that pullback has happened precisely at the confluence and upper action started right away. So our currently market stands in a temporal relief on the hourly chart. You could see it has hit uh, intraday minor target, which is the ABC bottom XOP since the pullback. Very good thrusting action on the hourly chart and that you could probably, I don't know if you're a scalp trader, maybe you could trade as a brand body buy, just build the levels from this upper action. If it will be the brand body, you could try to make the scalp buy opportunity. Well, we will talk about this a bit later, but currently as you can see this process of the entry using the chart Napoli tactics, is really great. So uh, now let's turn to the uh, normal uh, sequence of the charts first on the daily you could say our protection has started now we could consider this ABCD pattern the COP target stands around 1878 uh, slightly above the market it's very close and you could see that here's at least at this moment CD leg is faster than the AB this is good for bullish potential also I would like to remind you what we have on a 10 year yield head and shoulders this market recently has, has shown no reaction on the ADP, although ADP, as you could see, was not really impressive. That put the shadow on the perspective on the payrolls today. Uh, and in any case, if uh, interest rate starts falling, forming the hand shorts, that will be additional supportive factor for the gold, which could proceed higher. As we discussed uh, in our weekly report, that we considered the most probable destination point of the retracement right there. It's around 1910 area makes the agreement with the weekly confidence resistance because on the weekly chart 1895 is also 30 percent resistance from this top to this bottom so it will be also 1895 area and daily overbought which potentially could give us a kind of the gorgeous cheaper to sell passion that supposedly should be the good construction for re-establishing our action a bit later that's the idea that we currently follow and uh, but this is a bit perspective of the few weeks so currently at this point we're just still watching for mar market moving one to one from one target to another and currently we are focused on the cop and stand slightly above the market on the four hour time frame chart here's the fib level chain that you could consider uh, so the pullback that might follow it it, sh it should not be too significant because market is, has not reached yet the the COP, smiley target has not been completed. So that is just not the re response on the COP on the daily. This is mostly response on the daily X, uh, intraday XLP that I have shown you in the beginning of the video. On the euro currency, we have approximately the same situation. If you remember in today's video, we discussed also the hand shoulder, uh, sorry, on a double rip of sell pattern on the hourly chart and possible minor pullback. So on the gold market, I would first watching for a couple of levels most probably this will be 1856 because currently at this point we do not have any other reasons to suggest that it should be deep retracement market hasn't reached any significant target market not at the resistance not that they were, they were bad because on the daily chart you can see resistance that was standing here 
this market will resistance slightly above it. This was what here's was the reaction of this resistance. Now market return will pick up. So that's why, well, there are no big technical reasons to suggest that should be deep pullback. So 1856, maybe 1840, 1845, 1848 confluence. So these two levels probably should be staying in focus to us. Correspondingly, uh, on an hourly chart, if the pullback starts, we will we'll be watching for these levels on the fold from chart 86, right here. Maybe uh, 45, but well, guys, actually, I think that's it's less degree that will be complete. More probably 86. Um, that's for, 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 for those of you who would like to take another long position if you haven't taken it. For taking the scalp short trade, well, um, if it will be, for instance, the double repo, be aware of the 1878 target because market has not completed that. So market should first hit the 78 target before really significant pullback will happen. So maybe here will be some minor fluctuation. It's currently very risky trying to take the short position here with an completed COP on the daily chart. It would be better if you scalp trader, it would be better to consider taking a long position with the chances to hit the COP is just because for instance, heroes might be the brand bought buy, and uh, market could not just will be limited with the minor re retracement as we usually trade on the brand bottoms, but it might be the action to the 1878 to complete the daily COP. So this is very probable. Um, that's um, our view on the gold, and let's take a look what will happen on the pearls report. If it will be as as poor as it was the ADP, especially with the jumping on inflation and uh, dropping on the employment, well, guys, that might be a support factor for the gold and might be even show some acceleration without any retracement. So even 1856 might be not be reached. This market could just keep going higher. Um, that's might might happen. Well, um, that's actually all that we could say currently on the gold market. Let's keep watching.